Will my ex come back after they finish with the rebound and do they even care about me? Mm, yes, no, mm, yes. The answer is very complicated, but I'm gonna do my best to clear that up for you today. But before we get into that, I just want you to ponder the question before we go any further. Do you want to take someone back that's rebounded on you? So just think about that for one second. And while you're thinking about that, I'm going to do the intro. Welcome back to The Love Fix. It's Nick, as always, doing my best to get you through your breakups as easily and as healthily as possible. If today's video is not enough for you and you need my help with your personal heartbreak and breakup situation, hit the link below in the description, the coaching link, and book a session with me. And we'll talk it out and we'll get you through this. If that's not enough, you can also hit the Facebook link below and come and join the free Facebook community and come and join the wonderful community there. So let's get straight into it. So in most cases, yes, your ex does care in some capacity. They didn't just wake up one day and stopped caring about you. But when they are going for a rebound, they are typically more focused on themselves. They are typically more focused on the rebound partner and everything that comes with that because essentially they are getting addicted to the i'm in love kind of feeling which we all know is temporary and largely bullshit you know science has proved this over and over again so best thing you can do right now is not to even consider these kind of questions and ask about this and wonder if they're going to come back it's just to let them get on with it. it's just let them have it because most rebounds will fail most rebounds will implode within three to six months some do last some do work out so you have to be prepared for that but most will go and basically just self-delete itself so yes your ex does care and you we have to be very careful of what happens if they decide to come back after that rebound has ended. So there is a good probability of your ex coming back after they've finished the rebound and you may be getting quite excited about now think, oh okay one you know if they just finish that rebound they'll come back to me. But as I said at the start of this video, ponder that question. Will you take them back even if they've rebounded? And I think that is something you really really need to ask yourself before someone comes back after a rebound because one you need to understand why they are coming back after a rebound the reason they're coming back after a rebound is because that rebound found that rebound wasn't as good as they thought it was that rebound wasn't as good as you but here's the kicker they should have known that before they rebounded they shouldn't have this information they should be aware enough that they know the grass isn't necessarily greener on the other side so armed with that knowledge and given that they had a connection with you they had history with you now maybe you've been together six months a year two years five years ten years it really doesn't matter the fact is they had that foundation with you and rather than performing maintenance with you on that foundation because sometimes foundations fail they they crack and they need a bit of you know just some love and attention like we all do and that's just the way the world works and that's the way relationships work in general with friendship as well and sometimes we just need to give that a bit of attention because after all the grass is greener where you water it and they had the opportunity to stay there and fix it and okay this is what true love really is even when the butterfly feelings have worn off and the honeymoon feeling has worn off and it's not as good as it used to be well that's always going to happen because true real tangible love is performing maintenance on that foundation once that in love feeling has worn off because that in love feeling will always go away that in love feeling is just there it's a biological driver just to get us to reproduce and make babies now that feeling can be very very addictive so once your partner lost that feeling with you they try to seek it somewhere else and those kind of people that seek it elsewhere don't have their shit together they're not emotionally mature they are not self-aware they 
do not understand what tangible love is. So you have to ask yourself, you may be sitting here right now and praying to whatever God that you believe in. And even maybe some of you have hired a spellcaster or a witch doctor to put a spell on that rebound to make it go wrong. Let's assume best case scenario that that rebound does go away and you've got your wish and they come back. They're coming back because you are the backup option of the backup option. You're not even plan B, you're plan C. So you really need to think about that before they even decide to come back. But now let's look at the other possibility. The rebound is finished and they don't come back. Now that would suggest to me that maybe they checked out of your relationship long before they actually initiated the breakup. Because a lot of the time what would happen, your ex didn't just wake up one day and decided to dump you. There was probably something very wrong for them for a long time in that relationship. Something just stopped working. And nine times out of 10 in my experience, they tried to communicate what was wrong. They tried to tell you, hey, look, this is not working for me. Or maybe they didn't communicate that in the correct way. Either way, you didn't get the message. Now, maybe they have some responsibility to take on that and you definitely have some responsibility to take on that. So if they don't come back after the rebound, then that would suggest to me that they've made their peace with your relationship. And I know that's hard to hear and that is a very sad thing, but either way, and this is where you can take your power back. Either way, it doesn't matter if they come back or not after the rebound has failed. You should not be taking this person back. The fact is they rebounded. And for me, that's non-negotiable. That is non-negotiable. It's like my bed wasn't even cold yet and you jumped into bed with someone else. So you have to ask yourself this. <clears throat> Is your ex capable of doing the work on themselves? Is your ex capable of being self-aware? Is your ex capable of taking responsibility for their bullshit? Because them rebounding is part of the problem. Them rebounding is part of the bullshit. Them rebounding is saying, okay, I'm just addicted to the love feeling, the dopamine feeding, the I'm high on you feeding. I'm in love with the fantasy that I built up in my head feeding. That's not someone that can have a real long-term, healthy, tangible relationship. That person will continuously rebound a monkey branch. So you must ask yourself, why would you reconcile with this person? Given that their self-awareness isn't that great, their quality is pretty damn low, and if you spent this time after the breakup doing the work on yourself rather than strategizing and fantasizing how to get them back, you will very, very quickly see all of the red flags that came with them. And then hopefully you will see, right, okay, this person taught me the lesson, taught me exactly the lesson that I needed to learn. And I thank them for that. I thank them for showing me that they was the wrong person for me. I thank them for showing me that I should be with someone that is more in line with me, that is more compatible with me, rather than sitting here licking my wounds. Now there's a time and a place for that, there's a time and a place to lick your wounds, that's okay. You feel how you feel, that's okay. And the fact that you're listening to this right now probably means that you're in a bad spot at the moment. But <clears throat> if at the very minimum what you take away from here today is that it got you to question the quality or lack thereof of your partner, then I've done my job. And hopefully you can start to understand the nature of the beast. And once you understand the nature of the beast, you no longer get mad at the beast. You no longer fear the beast. You, <clears throat> you don't judge a lion for being a lion. The lion's just being a lion. It does what it does. You don't get angry towards a storm on the horizon. You just accept that the storm's coming. You accept that it's raining. You either try to avoid the storm by not going out, or if you're caught out in the storm, it's like, okay, it's raining, that sucks, but I'm gonna walk with my head eye anyway. 
And that's really what it comes down to when it, when you're looking at reconciliations or how to get my ex back after they've rebounded. Guys, don't even bother. If someone rebounds, honestly, do not give that person the time of day. So whether they come back or not is largely irrelevant because do you really want to be plan C? So things weren't for you were not working. So they go to plan B, which is their original rebound, and then that fails, and then they rebound back to you, which is plan C. Do not be plan C. Do not be plan B. If you are not plan A, you are not anybody's plan. If you are not first on that list, do not be on that list. And this is where you have to have self-love and validation and self-awareness And this is where you must take responsibility for your side of it because you chose this person. This behavior was always within them. You chose it. And that's your responsibility. Now you have to choose not to be with them. You have to, well, okay, I've been there. I've done that. I didn't like it. I'm not doing that again. You rebounded once. You cheated once. You monkey branched once on me. You will likely do it again. I don't want to know. I can do better. And thank you for this wonderful gift because you taught me something very, very important. And that is, I don't care if you care about me and I don't care if you don't care about me. I care about myself. That's where your true power is. And that's the direction you have to head for. And this is something you have to square away with yourself is what, what are my boundaries? What are my non-negotiable boundaries? And guys, for me, if a woman rebounds on me that I'm dating, she will never, ever, ever, and I mean ever in the history of ever, will come back. I will not allow her back in. So you have to give your ex the realization and the consequences of their actions. If they decided to leave when they could have stayed and worked on it, then that's on them. Them rejecting you is more about them than it is you. Them rejecting you is on them. And that's all I've got for today. I hope this has been helpful. And if you did like the video, I would really appreciate it if you hit like and subscribe. If you need my help once again, hit the coaching link below in the the description. Sorry, going tongue-tied there. And book a coaching session with me one-to-one and we'll get you through your breakup. You are enough. You're going to be fine. And as always, I'll see you on the other side.